Let's take a look at this problem. We've got natural log of x plus 1 minus natural log of x minus 1 equals natural log of x minus 8 minus natural log of x plus 3. Now notice everything has a log on it. So we're going to use our, our shortcut on this. We use properties of logs to get a single log on both sides. Well, on both sides we have log of something minus log of something. Subtraction becomes division. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Ln. Um, x plus 1 over x minus 1 equals natural log of x minus 8 over x plus 3. Now once we get a single log on both sides, then we can drop the log part, the ln, and we got x plus 1 over x minus 1 equals x minus 8 over x plus 3. Now this is a rational equation, and the steps for solving a rational equation is we're going to multiply everything by the LCM of all our denominators. Well, we got x minus 1 and x plus 3. Since they're different factors, our LCM will be x minus 1 and x plus 3. And that's where we multiply by the fraction on the left side. And that's where we multiply by the fraction on the right side. Now over here, the x minus 1 is going to cancel. And over here, the x plus 3 is going to cancel. So let's see what we have left. We have x plus 3 times x plus 1 equals x minus 1 times x minus 8. Multiply everything through. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x, or x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. Over on this side, x times x is x squared. x times negative 8 is negative 8x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x, or negative x. Negative 1 times negative 8 is a positive 8. Now notice that they both have an x squared on each side. Since they have the same term on both sides, you can just drop that part. So we got x plus 3x, that gives us 4x plus 3 equals negative 8x, negative x is negative 9x plus 8. Now we won't get everything with an x on one side, numbers on the other. So I take negative 9x to the left side and take 3 to the right side. So we're going to get 4x plus 9x equals 8 minus 3. Remember when you take anything across v equals, your sign changes. The negative 9x became a positive 9x. The positive 3 became a negative 3. Combine together like terms in any step. 4x plus 9x is 13x. Combine together numbers. 8 minus 3 is 5. Then divide both sides by 13, trying to get the x by itself. I'm going to do that. These 13's cancel. And we got x is equal to 5 thirteenths. Now 5 thirteenths, that's less than 1. If I plug that back in my original problem here, 5 thirteenths minus 8, I don't know what it is, but it's negative. And we can't have a log of a negative number, so that doesn't work. So since we crossed out uh, our only answer we found, then the answer is no solution. There's no answer to that problem.